The peacock bass, the holy grail of bass fishing, known for its vicious, powerful strikes, arguably the most powerful pound-for-pound -pound fighting fish in all the world. Like most avid fishermen, I've always dreamed of catching a peacock bass, but I never actually dreamed I would break a world record. This is my story. It's a peacock! It's a peacock! Come on! Oh, it's my first peacock! Oh, come on! That is what we come to the Amazon for. Ten pounds! When we were planning this trip to come to the Amazon, this is what I was wanting to catch. Peacock that bass. first peacock bass was not a world record fish, but it was my first peacock bass, and I'll never forget it. Came in at 10 and a half pounds and 25 inches long. As excited as I was about that fish, I never would have dreamed that in less than a year, I'd break a world record there in the Amazon jungle. I had an opportunity in November of 2023 to return to Brazil with my 13-year-old son, Brock, to go peacock bass fishing. At that time, we had no idea I was about to break a world record. We settled into camp, got a good night's sleep, and then headed out first thing in the morning to do some fishing. We wasted no time in finding some peacock bass to catch. This thing just came in and slammed the lure right by the boat. Such, such an aggressive strike. About four pounds. Bright orange coloring on the bottom. No matter how many peacock bass I catch, I'm always amazed by the power of their strikes. Oh, look at the coloring of this fish. Oh, there they come off. Look at the colors on this fish. This bright reds. These fish are considerably smaller caught in other parts of the Amazon. This thing's only two or three pounds. Look at the coloring. Just gorgeous. This one might be a little bigger. Not huge though. Oh, that thing just crushed this scoop. Every rock pile, down tree, Whoa. overhanging tree, creek inlet, whatever it was we were casting at, and we're often rewarded with a strong strike on feather jigs and topwater lures. Oh! Yeah! All that day, and even over the next couple of days, we continued to catch lots of three pound, four pound, even a couple of five pound peacocks. But we were really looking for a bigger fish. Oh, another beauty. Not even the occasional rainstorms could slow us down in trying to fish. And then this happened. Ooh, have a monster on. Oh. Look at the size of that thing. I have an okay one on. You have a freaking monster on. Look at the size of that mouth. Yeah! Yeah! No way! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Woo! The crocodile is coming over. He sees our splashing. How much weigh? Yeah! Ten pounds! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Dude! That's my type of fish. Oh my goodness! A lot of fours today. One five. Bunch of threes. Big what up? That was the fish that changed everything. Our guide saw how excited we got over seeing one big double digit pound fish. Way more excited than the four pound fish I caught at the same time. That next morning, our guide told us he knew a spot where there was a decent chance we could catch some bigger fish. And we said, oh yeah, 
Let's do it. When Ellington, our guide, told us we were going to be going to this difficult place, either we didn't fully understand what he meant because language barrier, or we were just too naive to understand how difficult it was going to be to get to this lagoon. We had to take the boats completely out of the water, take their motors off of them. We cut logs, laid them out across this stretch of dry land, and rolled the boats across these logs up and out into a whole nother creek. It was exhausting, and we were just getting started. After dragging the boats for about 150 feet, we put them back in the water into a very shallow creek bed, less than six inches deep. As we pulled the boats through that little creek bed, I began to wonder about what might be in the water we'd be stepping on or potentially getting hurt by. Taking the jungle to another level here. All those electric eels we've seen, stingrays, and who knows what else is in this water. And now we're hacking our way through the brush. And at this point, you cannot forget all the giant crocodiles we have seen here in the Amazon jungle. <laughs> Driven by the hope of catching bigger fish, we push deeper into the jungle. Sometimes the creek got a little wider and a little deeper and we're able to use the trolling motor. But soon, we either get too shallow or too narrow and we'd be back to paddling or pushing and pulling. The only witnesses were the strange birds who seemed to be surprised to see us. After nearly an hour of trudging through or paddling down that narrow creek bed, it opened up and we found ourselves in a lagoon hidden deep in the jungle. So of course, we started fishing. I had my first strike almost right away. It wasn't a big fish, but I was pretty pleased with where we were. This lagoon definitely looked promising. See, during the rainy season, much of the Amazon jungle floods and fish can move wherever they want. But then during the dry season, the water levels will drop as much as 10, 15, and 20 feet in some places, creating these lagoons and these lakes that are off the main riverways and the fish get trapped in there. So I felt if we're going to have a chance at catching a big fish here in a trapped lake or lagoon, this is the place where you might get a chance with no fishing pressure to catch a big peacock bass. For the first two hours, we caught a lot of fish, but again, they were all three, four, five pounds. So I decided to change tactics. I put on a red and white feathered jig and tried to fish in the middle of the lagoon where I thought it'd be deeper and thought a big fish might be lurking there. After half a dozen casts, I was rewarded wow. with a massive strike. Even after almost wow. two minutes of fighting this fish, we all stayed pretty calm until we got it to the boat. Big. I don't think you're going to fit in that net. Oh, ah, I like how the net's bending. I know, that it doesn't fit in the net. <laughs> like that part when it snaps in dead is like this. Oh, you get too nervous. Just lift the net in the boat. Well, you'd have to grab the side of the net. That looks way bigger than mine. I don't know if it's way bigger than yours. The mouth is way bigger. I don't know, yours is pretty big. Wow! Yeah, that's way bigger. Stop doing the milk. Yeah, Dad, that's way bigger than mine. Milk. Damn. Woo, nice fish. 12 pounds. Okay, oh, get picture. The funny thing about all this is we actually didn't know what we were holding. We didn't realize we just broke the world record for fire peacock bass. See, when it comes to peacock bass, there are over a dozen recognized species of peacock bass. Each species of peacock bass has its own world record, and the Cichla mirinae, known as the Tapajos peacock, or fire peacock by most people, has a world record of 10 and a half pounds. Estamos aqui com um possível recorde. O nar é fogo. All right, I guess we're going to get an official measurement here. Vamos aqui para a medida dele aqui. I was just going to take some pictures of the fish 
and put it back in the water. But Elliton, our guide, he was adamant that we get some measurements. We didn't know why. T seemed to think this fish was something special. So we took the measurements, 66 centimeters long, 12 pounds. Got the, showed the fish off to each other, showed it to the other guys there that follow us into the lagoon, and got the fish back in the water. With a fish that beautiful, we want to make sure we got it revived and going strong again and get it back out there swimming. Water, it's good, it's good, it's pulling me. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it revive. Okay. She's good. All right. Bye bye, peacock. Woo hoo! Yeah. Nice job. Yes. Yeah. Aí, Marelãozinho, meu parceiro. Valeu. Tamo junto. Yeah. Nossos amigos. Thank you. Nosso patrãozinho aqui. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is a very special fish I caught. Um, you know, catching any peacock bass is awesome. Catching a big one is, is amazing. But catching a fire peacock that is big enough to break the world record was an unbelievable moment that I was, you know, excited to be part of, proud to be there. Very excited to have shared that with my son, Brock. What a great thing this is for me. So thank you for watching that. Now you might be wondering, if you look at the pictures of the certificate, it doesn't say world record holder on that certificate. It says congratulations on your personal trophy. So here's the thing, okay? When we weighed the fish, we weighed it on a boga gripper. That is not an acceptable measurement way for the International Game Fish Association for breaking an official record. We don't have documentation of that weight outside of our simple boga grip weight we got on it. And yeah, it's just not acceptable to them. So they took the measurements, the country of Brazil does not recognize foreigners for holding Brazilian records. So the country of Brazil, after I got back to the U.S., I didn't know a lot about this sort of thing. Elliton, our guide, he turned the measurements into the camp director there at Tucuna Fire. And they contacted the Brazilian government and said, hey, we had this guy catch this really big fire peacock. We want to know if this is big enough for a record. They turned it in. I was then contacted by the Brazilian government. They asked for documentation. They want to know the size of it. They asked if we have any video footage of it. I sent them the video footage, which you have now seen. And they went through it and they said, hey, this is a great fish. You would have broke the record, but you don't have the official weight taken in the way that we need it done and to your foreigner. So with the weight, you can't hold the world record. And here in Brazil, only Brazilian citizens can hold Brazilian records. So instead, they've issued me a certificate for having the largest fire peacock bass ever caught by a foreigner in the country of Brazil. So that's what all this stuff says right here. And yeah, still awesome. I know that I broke that record. I'm really honored to have those certificates issued on my name. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching us. If you haven't already, please like the video. Help us out. Help share this video with people so they can also enjoy the video. And we look forward to bringing some more videos here. Tight lines.